Hi, my name is Greg Liebig with Four Square Home Inspections, and today I'm going to show you how to replace your stash cords in a double hung window. There are thousands of homes in Chippewa County that have old double hung windows. Sash cords are used to counterbalance the weight of the windows, keeping the window open. Repairing these windows is an easy process, only requiring a screwdriver, scissors or a knife, a scraper, and a couple of clothespins. When you're done, you can throw away those old pieces of wood you need to hold those windows open. The first thing you'll need to do is to remove the trim pieces holding the window in place. Sometimes, these trim pieces can have multiple coats of paint that will make things a little more difficult. You should be aware that the, that the paint may contain lead and care should be taken not to remove the paint or create chips that can be adjusted by you, your children, or pets. In this case, the screws are visible and easily removed with a screwdriver or fingers. Once the trim pieces have been removed, take a couple clothespins and any sash cords that may be still existing, just clip the clothespin on the sash cord. Then pull out the trim pieces. It's actually easier if you take them totally off the window. And once those pieces are loose, the bottom sash will come right out of the frame. On the side of each of the sashes, there are grooves that are cut into the sash with a big hole in the bottom. This is what holds the knot and rope in place as the window goes up and down. You can see how worn the sash cord is. The clothespin helps keep the sash cord in place and the weight in place while you're working on getting the door removed. It just keeps it out of the way and makes it easier to retrieve the rope. On the side of the window there's actually a pocket. And this pocket is, is what contains the access point to get to the counterweight that's in, actually in the window frame itself. All you need is a screwdriver and uh, use a flathead and put your screwdriver in there and remove the screw. Once you have the screw out, get a scraper or a, a screwdriver and easily and gently pry around this doorway, being careful not to break the cover plate. It pops right out, and this is what allows you access to the actual counterweight. Once you have the cover off, pulling on the sash cord, you can see the weight go up and down. This is what actually works to hold the window in place. Reach in there and remove the weight and let, and let go of the sash cord up on top and pull the cord all the way through. Replacement sash cord can be purchased at any Home Depot, Menards, or any hardware store. It comes in different diameters. We're using a quarter inch diameter for our project today. Take the old sash cord if you have it available and use that to measure the length of the replacement sash cord. The length of the, of the sash cord is very important. If it's too long, the window won't open all the way. If it's too short, the window will not close. Cut the sash cord to length, and then on one end, tie just a simple overhand knot. The trickiest part of the whole project is to feed the end of the sash cord through the window over the pulley, and then get it down to the pocket where you can grab a hold of it with your fingers and then attach that to the counterweight. It may take a little bit of playing and futzing, and putzing, but eventually the rope will fall down and uh, you can grab a hold of it with your fingers to the bottom. Once you see the end of the sash cord, grab a hold of it and pull it through. The knot you tied on the other end will prevent that sash cord from coming in through the window itself. Then put the end through the counterweight and tie a double overhand knot. That's just one loop and then two loops and then feed the end of the rope through both loops and pull the knot tight. The double knot makes it easier and makes it a stronger connection to make sure that the counterweight does not slip off the end of the sash cord. Make sure the knot made. Go ahead and pull the weight up through the window. And take a clothespin. And then screwing the screw back in the original hole.
So no fancy tools are required to do this job. Just a screwdriver, a knife or scissors, a putty knife is helpful, some sash cord, and a little bit of patience. Put the window back in the frame, put the knot you tie at the end of the rope into the hole in the sash, and then place the rope inside the pocket. And then gently close the window shut, putting it back in the frame again. The window stays open all by itself. When you're all done, the sash corpse will move freely in the frame. The window will stay in position wherever you put it. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and have a great day.